Bible isn't true, then you must, that you in itself by default is claiming that you have something better. But yet you were as confused as the rest of the unbelievers. So this message today is to solidify believers. The journey. That's right. The journey to the gospel, the prophetic journey, the bloodline journey. Starting. That's right. With Christ. The journey to the gospel to the Jews first and also to the Gentiles. And why am I putting this out? So that no one can shake your belief in the Bible going forward. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you everything concerning prophecy and Christ coming out of the Old Testament and how it was fulfilled in the New Testament to prove to everyone out there that the believers who are children of slaves, folks, are prophecy. The children of slaves are the prophecy who would come through Christ. And, and only a remnant of them would represent Christ at the end. Hey, don't forget, Christ told us, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. That the most high would use the underdog. He would use the people everyone counted out through Christ to save the world. I'm not, folks, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about all of us. When we begin to understand Christ's prophecy, we actually are able to see ourselves in the prophecy. And this is why unbelievers who are really children of Satan, this is why they shun the belief of the Bible or try to discount its validity. Because they, this is why they shun it. Because they don't want us to see our prophecy in aligned with Christ's prophecy. Now, Elder Lord, you got something in particular? Yes, sir. Let's so go. Point. First Corinthians chapter one, verse number 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. The world by wisdom knew not God with all the high universities and the money you spent to go to college. All of you were shaken during the coronavirus 2020 mm -hmm. with all the wisdom. <clears throat> okay. Then y'all have this little, th this little leprechaun dude just march out. He's standing up talking about, yeah, uh, yeah, you can wear this. You can do this. Well, I put mine under my chin. This, this is what people were listening to. Well, I trust the science. Guess what? I don't trust the science. Mm -hmm. Why I don't trust the science? I don't trust the science because we're the people being experimented on. And history have showed me over and over again. At the end of it, we suffer more than any other people. Okay. Finish reading. For after that, in the wisdom of God... The world by wisdom knew not God. The world by wisdom knew not God. They set up their universities to separate people from God. And I check out my people. I'll check out our people <laughs> in the communities. We are more educated, but are less spiritual. We were more spiritual in slavery without the white man's education. We become what? Wise according to this world, but totally, totally dumbed down concerning our, our position prophetically and where we stand with God. Come on. 
It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So he says he's going to use the foolishness of preaching to save those who believe. Because why? Why? This is why. The Most High is going to use somebody poor without degrees, without any of that, to show you how ridiculous the wisdom of this world is. Because if a man got a piece of paper behind him, and I'm not going to knock someone's hard work and, and getting what? Knowledge. Okay, there, there's a positive in that. But all in all, if I got, a, I got an achievement there behind me, guess what? That's my achievement. achievement. Now people are going to put that, all their eggs into what? My schooling, my knowledge, my understanding, my education, see, and not give glory to, to the God who made me. And if they do put all that into the accreditations and the degrees to give, to validate me, right? I'm validated now through a certificate, a piece of paper. How much greater or how more greater is the person? who set up the institution to give me the education. So all in all, at the end of it, the university, the dean, the professors, all these people are getting the glory God should receive. And that's the problem. That's the problem. I don't begrudge someone getting an education, but you have to balance that information and understand when you're losing yourself. Most people go to these university to get, and eventually they get detached from their true purpose in God. And that's the problem. Come on. Jump into verse 25. Because the foolishness of, of God is wiser than men. The foolishness of God is wiser than men. That means the lowest level. Even if it, if it's, it is not possible. Even if it was something foolish coming from the, from the heavens. It will be more information than anything you can learn in a university. <laughs> it says the foolishness of God is what? Is wiser than men. And how do we know the foolishness of God is wiser than men? We were shaped in iniquity. We were made out to be fools. Why? The perception and the demonization of our communities have made our people out to be the black, the proverbial black sheep, the, the fools. We're the guys running around with our plants hanging down, twerking on cars, doing all this foolishness. You know what the most High say? You know what? I'm going to teach the whole world with these people. Oh, yeah. Baptism is like a washing boy. There you go. <laughs> Baptism is a washing boy. The angels are like this. Oh, yeah. Boop. Okay. Boop. Boop. I'm going to take these same people that you call fools, and they're going to confound all your universities and, and build the kingdom of God from the ashes. Check that out. All of us were shaped in iniquity and did something wrong that we were ashamed of. All of us. But the Most High said, you know what? I'm going to use what this world perceives as fools to change the world. I'm going to stand them upright. Put, all, put white robes on my people. I'm going to put Mitri on the heads of men to show the earth that they are the princes of the earth. I'm going to show these people that most think are fools and I'm going to let them know that these are the priests of the almighty God. See? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's not going to be about a certificate on the wall. They're going to wear their degree through the Holy Spirit. Okay. <laughs> their degree will be inside. It's called the Holy Spirit. Where their interactions is their degree. Come on, let's hit it. 
And the weakness of God is stronger than men. The weakness of God is stronger than men, read. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise, O oh, not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Look at that. Not those who are who are actually propped up academically and all that in this assistant in this system is usually called by the Almighty. Mm -hmm. Because why? You have to break past their pride to actually teach them that they really know nothing. You were taught to believe that you were better than someone else. And that's off. And there's no higher degree than, than Christ. The wise men came from all around the earth to learn from Christ. When he was on earth, folks, and before him, the whole earth came. Oh, they, robbed, they, they, would, they would travel months to sit with Solomon. Uh, oh, yeah. And what university did he go to again? Mm -hmm. When a lot of the, the science and the positive information that university are teaching came from the wisdom of Solomon. Huh? Even before Solomon, all the Chaldees would come together all and travel weeks, months to sit with our father Abram. So this is where we're going today. Brothers and sisters, stop letting this, this world media of perception beat you down and make you believe you're less than. You have to understand who you are. And today you're going to realize what Christ through the spirit was always trying to release in you. It's more than potential. You were born with it. It's in your blood. It's in your veins. You are the children of God. Okay. Listen to what I'm trying to show you here, folks. You are the children of the almighty and they're trying to suppress that power. By making you feel less than, building insecurities and all these other things which are bonds to keep you under subjection. But you are good enough for the most high. He says, I'm going to use the foolish, foolishness of this world to confound the wise. Mm -hmm. Come on, Elder Lawyer. 27, but God have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Come on. And God have chosen the weak things he, of the world. Everyone think we're <clears throat> weak. But the Most High chose you. He knew what he sent into this earth. And he knew that we have soiled ourselves in this earth. He knew that we were shaped in iniquity and chose wrong. He know that. But that's like I said, that washing boy. It's like the angels are putting you in that water and you're, and you're being thrown back on shore, right? And you're going back on shore with this white garment on. And most I say, I got you. Don't worry about it. Finish. I sent you from heaven pure. You came into this earth as a baby and your parents, you, you were shaped in the sins of Jacob. But I'm going to cleanse you so that you can be the purpose that I sent you for. The whole earth is going to hate your guts. They're going to think you're less than and weaker than others. And I'm going to show that you are the sons and daughters of the Almighty. Live in prophecy. And the way you live is going to let everyone know that my words, my book is real. You no longer have to prove whether or not the Bible is real because those who don't believe it will die anyway. They're dead already. Because the only reason they don't believe in the Bible or don't want to believe in it, because they know they're sinning against it. That's the bottom line. Come on. 28. And the base things of the world and the things which are despised have God chosen. Come on. Yea, and the things which are not to be to bring to naught things that are to bring to naught things that are read that no flesh should glory in his presence that no flesh should should what glory in his presence the most talk could care less about the education you've learned in this world if it's not helping his purpose if it's not aligned with prophecy because this whole world will waste away one day folks that's right. 
one day the society you're living in will no longer exist all together. Where will you be? Now let's go. A prophetic